like a Jackie Chan. Hey guys, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 2, Part 3. So, I... I think I must find a screwdriver. There, in the toolbox. Use generator. Power switch. I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Oh. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Ah, uh, okay. Do I need to take the screwdriver from here? And do something with... You know, okay, take it. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I need a fucking screwdriver! No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My yeah. girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. I guess. Exactly. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage, some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too, or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. <laughs> what the hell are they talking about? Okay. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. Your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Means you can't trust them. Any of them. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Oh, shit. Okay, so let's sabotage the generator, though. Should do it. 
through a belt. Damn it all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Now he's on to that, and then we can check back behind the barn. I, ho I, I really hope it's uh, nothing too serious, though. Like, if they kill people and let them die there, or, uh, I don't know. Just get it! Let's check. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay. Screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. Come on. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, oh Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I can eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Okay. This must be Terry. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Nope. Gauze pads. I could use a shave. Some kind of lotion. No. Oh. that cord going? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Who do they need so much morphine for? Candles. Smart. Musty as hell. Yeah, what 
is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. What the to fuck? Saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? up here resting. Feels like there's a storm coming. Uh -oh. To you. He just had a start. They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Holy shit. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some what? more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Hey, fuck off. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? Uh -huh. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They 
They didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. Don't <sighs> be okay. What I'm the gonna fuck find us a way out of here. You're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No. No such luck. Fuck. Please settle down! Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads off! <sighs> And make you swallow them. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, oh God. Dad. <gasps> no. Dad, come on. Dad. Oh God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, three-hundred-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size! It's him or us! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake yeah, me. we must try. Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? What? He's gonna turn. Two. You're putting all of us at risk, Three. you son of a bitch! You're fucking worthless, Lee. No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry, Kenny. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? You're welcome. Someplace safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Oh my god. <laughs> He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. You've got to think about saving your own life now. That's yeah. what he would have wanted. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we've got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katja, remember? Well, she's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using yeah. Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him, that's all. Yeah, let's find a way out of there. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. 
Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. Hmm. It's not coming off that way. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Still carried his wallet. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Nice. Now we can get out of here. screws and get this unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. I'm trying my best, mate. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Come on, Clem. Jesus Christ.
slaughterhouse. Yeah, you're right, Kenner. That can come out of it. God, what's wrong with these people? Jeez. Maybe I shouldn't have sent them in time through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Ah, so I can choose. I, oh. Jesus. Please. What are you doing outside the bar? Oh shit! Just going in the place like you said. Well, sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Take one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick each one to keep them alive? Not to kill. We must meet on the trail. Ah. Oh, I know, Mabel. This is my favorite Focus. part, too. When I let Still one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's gotta walk past us to get to the meat locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. Let's see what he's doing now. What's he doing now? Grab the gun. You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking hell. Fuck, I don't know what to do. Coward. No. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you! It's not worth it. It's a storm. Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back. I 
I think that was the right choice. He's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. Come on, come on, come on. Where the fuck Kenny is? All right, we're coming in to help. Now we must just the main not gate make is too dangerous. Mistakes. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Come on! 
Don't. <laughs> Lily! Get fucked in. Is that all you got, Lee? You ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> They're not coming. What do you mean? Lee? Yeah. What the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Let's walk away. It's not for a time. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! Lee! Hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Nope. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? Yes, Walker's probably got them. They were very bad people, and they were punished for it. Okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. Yeah. 
It sounds like a car. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Okay. Figures. Oh, crap! Baby, you oh, gotta see this. Shit. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Yeah, she's got a point. Yeah. You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. Clementine and I don't want any part of this. We're starving. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay, what have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? <laughs> oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Shit. Oh shit. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits. Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. I won't let that bandits get you, will you? Let me talk, Clementine. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, You're I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. I used to call friends. People. Don't worry, little girl. Ants got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Next time on The Walking Dead. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. 
you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases in but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. I fucked up again. Madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh, shit. Okay, so I did... Okay, it was 49%, so... Oh, my God. Oh, that was close, though. Of the car. Yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed the episode, too. In the next video, we are going to uh, start on episode 3. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you guys all later.